The annual Honolulu Pride Parade is approaching, and there's a lot of fun that we can look forward to. Here with all the details, we have Ha'ahel Zablon and Coco Chandelier. Good to see you guys. See you well. Okay, first of all, I can't believe it's that time of year. We were just talking in the lobby that like it went by so fast, but there's a lot that everybody can look forward to. Um, but before we get into those, um, into what we can look forward to, Ha'ahel, could you catch everybody up to speed? What have you guys been up to? I know you guys had a busy past few months. We've, uh, we've had a, a lot going on this year. Uh, we started off the year at Bishop Museum with our Pride Paina uh, uh, celebrating families. Oh. And most recently at the High Regency, we had our Visions Without Limits Gala uh, with Deborah Cox. Awesome. Uh, there we honored uh, both Judge Foley as well as Justice Levingson on the 30th anniversary of marriage equality. And then also as we look towards the future, uh, um, Kumuhina, um, was one of our honorees as well. Awesome. Uh, with one of the Legacy Awards. I love it. And speaking of future, uh, what can everybody expect happening this month, especially the weekend of October 20th through the 23rd? Uh, so we've had activations throughout October. Okay, well, speaking of the future, let's tell everybody what we can look forward to um, this month, especially the weekend of October 20th through the 23rd. Beginning October 20th, Friday, um, we're opening our events at Hawaii Theater with a concert um, with Sam Sui, followed by our official opening party for, um, for Pride at Hawaiian Brian's. It's called Paradise. Uh, uh, Saturday, we have obviously the parade where Sasha Colby is our Grand Marshal, and then she's also going to be f uh, headlining our festival. And this is the first time that we're bringing, or Sasha Colby's um, coming home since um, winning RuPaul's Drag Race. So we're super excited for that. Um, after the festival, we have our official after party at Hula's. Then we're inviting everyone back to Hawaii Theater uh, to see a concert with Alan Cumming. And then later that evening, our new sponsor, Centered, is providing a late night party. Um, Sunday, um, we're doing a brunch uh, with Alaska Airlines, so the Alaska Airlines Fly with Pride brunch at deck. And then uh, we're bringing back the pool party. The lay pool party is coming back to Alohilani this year. The weekend of um, of the twentieth, meaning the twentieth, is when is when all of the um, the major events, the, all, all the official yeah. events happen. Nice, yeah, <clears throat> including the Pride Parade, which will be broadcasted right here on K two N two and K High. Um, and speaking of the Pride Parade, uh, Coco, I want to bring you into the conversation. Yes. Could you tell everybody about this year's theme and if there's anything special that our viewers should know? Well, this year's theme is rooted in Pride Love Homecoming. It. And with that, we're bringing home one of our girls all the way from Waimanalo, who was crowned RuPaul's Drag Race 2023 Super Queen of the Universe. Yeah. Sasha Kobe. <laughs> yeah, so she'll be our Grand Marshal, and then she'll be headlining our festival on Saturday the 21st. And then you can also catch her at a meet and greet on Sunday at our drag brunch in the morning. A lot to look forward to. Um, let's, let's piggyback on uh, Sasha Colby work because you guys, she's been a huge part in having the LGBTQIA plus community learn about the word mahu. I mean, I've seen it all over social media. It's been all over TV. Um, what does that mean to you? And does the foundation have anything that they're doing to highlight culture in Hawaii? Absolutely. So the, the Hawaii Legacy Foundation has a subcommittee, uh, Ahafono, which is mostly geared, run, and imagined by Mahu within our organization. Myself, along with Dr. Kalani Opua, Tatiana Young, and as well as Tapu Ian, who, through the education and arts and culture, kind of bringing to light Mahu. Mm -hmm. There is this word that's being used right now, mahui, which kind of celebrates and engages us as mahu within our community because we are the indigenous framework of Hawaii. And just looking at those programmings to really lift and cultivate what it is to be mahu in contemporary times and right now within the LGBTQ MVP FAF communities here in Hawaii and the Pacific. What can other people or what can people expect in terms of other events? Uh, we're excited to start off uh, Friday with a concert at Hawaii Theater with Sam Sui 
followed by our official opening party at Hawaiian Bryan's called Paradise. Saturday, obviously, the festival where we have our Grand Marshal, Sa Sasha Colby, who will also be headlining the Grand Marshal for the parade and then the festival. Uh, and, you know, this is the first time she's coming home. And then again on Sunday, uh, we are, uh, we're bringing back the Lei Pool Party okay. at Alohilani, nice. as well as the Alaska Airlines Fly with Pride Brunch at Deck. Awesome. Okay, you guys, there's a lot to look forward to um, this year at Pride, so make sure you guys log on to kh12.com. We're going to have a list of everything that you can look forward to, including a link to their website so that you guys can make it kind of a one-stop shop. Coco and Ha'aheo, thank you guys so much for coming on Living Anyway. We appreciate you guys. Mahalo. Mahalo.